And welcome back, everyone, to Hybrid Let's Play. I am Hybrid. Um, it's another Monday night stream. Uh, I have eaten some dinner, and I feel a lot more relaxed. And with that, we are going to try out a new game tonight. Uh, it's not actually a new game, but it would be new to me. And it's going to be AER Memories of Old. So we're going to go ahead and load it up in here and um, see what happens. Uh, I know very little about this game. Um, I know it uh, has a very minimalist art style. I know it is just kind of like a sort of free-flowing exploration game. Other than that, I don't really know anything. So we're going to give it a try, though. It's, uh, much more of an exciting thing. Um, so this will maybe be a little more of a chill stream than normal. Um, press any button to start. All right. Uh, settings, gameplay, English, Portuguese. No. Oh no, he passed English. All right. Yeah. Uh, invert camera. I think we're good. Invert bird probably fine uh this is all probably fine compass yeah that's probably good audio sure these are fine for right now i guess all right new game see what happens uh so i know my uh my age of calamity stream earlier tonight had a decent amount of issues to it so we're going to just try to have some fun in this one. Hmm. Auk, listen. I know you are eager to explore, but the pilgrimage is important to the people of the sky. I actually didn't expect text in this game. As you know, in the early days before the Great Divide, the lands were very different from now. Instead of islands in the sky, the lands were one, and the ancients inhabited the world. They built great structures, among them three temples here in the land of gods. Your journey will lead you to all three of them. But something changed. The ancients somehow caused the Great Divide, shattered the lands, and left us with islands in the sky. The priestess Kara prayed by the lighthouse and found answers that helped our people survive the Great Cataclysm. The first stop for every pilgrim is to visit Kara's shrine. So go on in, Ock. I will wait for you outside. This loud. Is this, uh... Am I, uh, Luna from Final Fantasy X? Alright, so I can move. Ah, that's a little jank. Move the camera. There's something up there. I have... X brings up a map. None of my other buttons seem to really... Uh, R... Uh, reorients my camera. Alright. Oh, A is jump. I could not jump earlier. So it had to unlock my ability to jump. Eh. Uh, I am going to bring... At least in my headset, the audio is super loud. Um, and unfortunately, I have no control over that without messing with the actual game audio. Um, so if that's too low, let me know. Otherwise, we'll just go with that. Um, all right. Yeah, very minimalist art style. Reminds me of Faye, um, which I've played before. Uh, this tablet is really worn. A part of the text is unreadable. In the land of gods, there were three, and three houses slumbering in eternal skies. <gasps> it's Fire Emblem Three Houses. Um, so let's see. Guess I'm going the right way? No idea. Is, is this anything? Nope, it's not. No, okay. Uh, let's see. 
The memory of light in our hearts shining with the name of Kara. Her lantern guided and protected us when the world shattered and we became the people of the sky. Uh, so I assume I need to find a lantern. Look at all these luminous mushrooms. Um, so fox? Statue? Yeah, I'll we'll go with fox. Um, wait. Enter the Hall of Memory where sleeps the light of Kara. It never went out while she was alive. Ask and maybe it will shine forth to answer you. Okay. Wee. Wee. Uh, those are just floating symbols. Don't know how I feel about that. And I hear voices. Hello. The frame rate in this game is not super great. This is going to be another last campfire. Right. Oh, we got it. We are the chosen one. It's our hair. That's what got it. Um. Is this actually control? What? I'm so... Um, okay, that's cool, yep, sure, uh-huh, dead bodies, uh, am I supposed to be able to cross that? not um all right oh this is water that's what this is yeah this place is falling apart kind of kind of think we might be partially responsible here wait I don't remember the other ones in the initial room like saying anything. Alright. I'm guessing I'm going the right way. Again, don't really know. Hey, it's light. That's good. That's good. Uh, interesting setup. Apparently, we can see, I guess, dead people with the land with the magic lantern. Um, everybody, if you had problems with Age of Calamity's frame rate, it could be worse. Small indie game. All right. Alright, so now we have a compass. Oh, it's a dude. Ock! You made it out okay. Thank the gods you're alright. What happened there? I thought the worst one the cave collapsed. Is that the lantern? Hmm, strange. That lantern is an ancient artifact called Kara's Light. 
Somehow it shines for you. It's the first time in generations. Keep it safe for now. I'll stay here to investigate the shrine. Meanwhile, you should continue your pilgrimage. There's a village over by the lighthouse. Just follow the kites to get there. Talk to Dana when you arrive. She will tell you where to go next. Mm. I'm glad you didn't hurt yourself. Ah, follow the kites to the village and talk to Dana. She knows where to go next. Alright, we're jumping. Oh. Okay. So that that's how we do it. I guess that's just like an accepted thing around here. Oh boy. Okay. Uh that that is not banking. Uh Uh, all right. Okay, so now we have a map. Here's the settle. Can we zoom out of this map any? No. Or is this just it? it. Is this the world? All right. Um, okay. So I guess we have found the village. I'm on the roof. Can I fall in that hole? I can. Hey, it's a person. Are you the Dana? Mm. Hello, Ock, and welcome. What was that noise you heard? What? You made it out okay? I'm John, by the way. Dana and I take care of the lighthouse here on the island. We try to make sure that nothing weird happens in the land of gods. Not an easy job considering all the strange old ruins and wonders here. I haven't had much time to visit them since Erin was born, but I don't mind. I think she longs for adventure, which makes her father proud. If you have the time, I'd recommend you go to the Wind Song Falls. When the world was whole, a water spirit combed her hair at the stream there. Beautiful hair at that. The wind sang to make her hair flow down until it mixed with the clouds. Thus, the rainbow was born. Not that I've ever seen one there myself, but it's a nice story. Anyway, you could find that the place just north of here. Continue beyond the clouds. All right. I don't know what I was expecting, but I don't know if this was it. Yo. Hello. Hey. Hey. Are you alright, Auk? It was Auk, right? We heard rumblings from Kara's shrine. I'm so glad you made it out. My name is Dana, and welcome. It was a long time ago we had a pilgrim here. Your mentor, Medvin was actually the last one before you. My parents helped him back then. Now I, John, and our daughter Erin will help you. If you ever feel lost, just return here and talk to us. We are here to guide you after all. Every pilgrim's journey requires a visit to the three temples in the land of gods. Kara sealed them a long time ago, right after the Great Divide. There's a sigil on the ground close to each temple. That's where we gather to pay respects to the spirits, and so you two should go there. Sacred words are revealed to those who approach with an open mind. The even tide... Sanctuary is closest, and you will find it northwest of here. We, we go into Eventide. What's up, little girl? Ock, mm. Ock. That's your name, right? Right? What happened? Did you see any ghosts or spirit animals, treasures, secrets? I want to explore, too. It's so unfair that I'm stuck on this island. Sometimes I got adventures with my parents, but it's still adventures. <laughs> I want to do a super awesome place. It's up north, and it's kind of snowy. I don't know why I'm doing this voice. With this huge statue, it's kind of broken, but stuck here. My name is Aaron, so you know. It's a big village for just like the three of you. Butterflies. That's... Hey, it's the fox dude. And a bird. And... That. Okay. Is that a person over there? Uh... No, it's a log. Hello. Um, all right. Okay. Uh, what's this? 
Ah, it's a wall. Um, it's okay. Okay. Um, all right, there's three things here. So I am guessing this must be the lighthouse. It doesn't seem to do anything right now. I should come back here later. Sounds like a plan. Um, this. So here's my question. Is this piece broken or is this a texture issue? Because it's the only one of the three triangles like it. But I don't know. Uh, let's... Alright. Yeah, so this is just, just a go explore game, I guess. Alright, um... They said north. Oh, what's this? It's a birdhouse? It's a birdhouse. Oh, hey, there's another drawing right there. Wait. It's an interesting game so far. Um, very minimalist. But, um, yeah, it doesn't seem like there's going to be a ton of hand-holding. It's like, just, just go. Just go explore. Go check out what's out there. So. It's like, oh, game's just not gonna load, it, I guess. Uh, all right, back in the cave. Discovered pilgrim study. So like, okay. Can I, I cannot transform in a cave. Oh, wow. Oh, lore, lore dump. I can't read this. It's written in a language I don't know how much of it is broken and readable anyway. This looks like the same stuff. Maybe Medvin knows how to decipher it. Same? Yeah. Alright. Okay. Yeah, this is a lore dump. That was interesting. Yeah, this this game feels like there's like a sinister layer like kind of below the surface, not just below, a little farther below. Like what was that light when I picked up the lantern? It looked like a giant evil eye. It's like it was a lying eye. No. Oh. Definitely weird. Um, I mean, I'm here for it. Doesn't seem like it's going to be a combat intensive game. Or any combat at all, to be fair. So. It's a nice little break from Hyrule Warriors, I guess. Uh, Alright. Okay. There's a gondola boat. Just kind of chilling. Okay, I see what they mean now by bank. Alright, uh... Alright. Trying to figure out, like, how far can I go? I mean, there's stuff over there. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, I can just keep going. Oh, there's glowing stuff over there. That's interesting. <laughs> just dive bomb. Hello, birds. Oh, you look like the bird on the wall. This seems important. Read part one. My name is Aram, and I am on the Howling Abyss. And I was there on the day of the Great Divide. My youngest child was ill, and I asked the spirit animals for help. When I prayed by the shrine of Iliquoi, Iliki, 
Terrible brightness pierced the air and the land trembled and screamed. Know that feeling. Terror, I took flight and watched with eagle eyes as the land broke into pieces which crumbled and turned to dust. Only one place seemed calm. I flew there and perched on it, horror struck. It was the lighthouse. Part two. The lighthouse was surrounded by a golden shimmer that warmed and soothed me. I saw the priestess Kara pass by, pass me by, weeping. She held a lantern key such as they make in the city of Urza, but the lantern was dead. The shimmer came from Kara herself, dwindling as I watched. She descended the lighthouse, and I saw that many spirit animals had gathered around the tower, watching. When Kara came to them, they bowed their heads and then left as if at an unspoken signal. Okay. Kara then looked at me and said, You are Aram, I know you, and we need to talk. I found my voice and asked, What has happened to the world, Kara? She was silent for a moment and said, A great danger has gone, but also a great light. It's time we gather all who are lost so that we may find a way for our people to live in peace with the world again. Ever since then, I have been flying from one broken island to another to tell the lost people that there is a new home. To lead them here, where we in time may heal again, where my youngest can regain her strength. Okie dokie. And... There's another one of these birdhouses. Is this like... Do I do I get a power later for this? Because I can't interact with it at all. Um, Alright, so we have the map. Oh, that's... Uh, okay, I get it. So the white part is the clouds. Okay, that's cool. Um, yeah, I guess this is the map. Alright. Um, I mean, there is a tiny... Oops! Wrong button. So there is a dead person here. What is that spreading its shadow across the sky? Is that something? Oh wow, there's an island like way up there. Oh, I keep I keep pressing A to flap. It's not it's Y. Oh yeah, that's definitely something. Oh, nope. Although this looks like one of the thingies that uh I'm supposed to... the create ah, the creator shrine. So you can't, like, move around or anything that I can tell. Alright. Well, this looks like a thing we're supposed to go to, so... What we got here? More triangle architecture. Okay. Can I turn into a bird still? Yep. Let me in! No? Okay. Uh, I thought I saw something... Ooh. This is a little hard to control. Oh boy, there we go. There we go. Ah, I keep pressing... Hey, concern it. Um, like, do I have to hit that button with my head or something uh like nope uh oh okay um so that way is back to that area uh let's go over here i guess or is no Ah! 
Oh, clouds. Oh, I can go. Th I can go through clouds. Oh, cool. Oh, there's something over there. That might be how this game gets played. Oh, there's something over there. Let's go check it out. So I'm guessing I need like a key or something to open the stuff. So. Um, any, anything on here? Can I go up here? Anything up here? Treasure chest. Light. Key. No. Just nothing. All right. Just see the obelisk. All right. Do you find it interesting there's like no music now all of a sudden in this area? We'll see what that is. I tried to get, I think I tried to go up here. Oh, wait, can I just go like on top of this building? Is there anything up here? Nope. But it does have that giant triangle. They love their triangles. Oh, wait a minute. Do you think I need the lantern to do something? Oh, gosh. Oh, God. Oh, God. Yep. All right. Big statues. All right. Lantern. Anything happen in here when I put my lantern? Guessing that's gonna be in nopers. All right. All right. Well, let's see where I can, I can go over here. Ah. Over here, there's stuff I haven't been to yet. I think. Yeah. Alright. Let's see what we got. King's Pass. Another uh, birdhouse thingy. And Bun Bun. Hello, Bun Bun. Uh, let's see. Oop. Whoopsies. Ooh, dead person. Hello, dead person. Can you speak to me? Hmm, the cold has spread this south far. This. Far south. It's not right. Okay. Um. Oh boy. If I use my lantern here, does it? Oh, I thought something would happen. It's not. I don't know yet. Alright. Hmm. It's over here. There's a lot of islands over here. This looks... Oh. Uh, more dead people. It's time to face facts. The God King is here to say, stay. <laughs> Better to bend a knee than to lose a head. And, and that one's like, nuh uh. No, thank you. No God King for me. Alright, is this more, uh, more lore?
Guess not. Alright. Um, is that lore? Over here? I am Yohal of the Southern Isles. This is the second letter I leave behind. This message is a warning of bad tidings, the worst ever since the Great Divide. I came to the land of the gods to seek counsel from my spirit animal. Our lands continue to break apart as if an invisible tide gnawed at them. Since last spring, things have gotten worse. The snow creeps south, and animals are found dead. Corrupted with the dark rocks I first saw so long ago. I went to the spirit fox's den, but it was empty. I waited there for three days, but he was nowhere to be seen. Are the spirits dying as we are? If so, then all is lost. If he doesn't show up tomorrow, I will return to my people. I, for one, will not abandon them in their last days. Some apocalypse stuff happening. Where am I on the map? Speed boost! You've got boost power! Um, this looks like something. Read. Not all spirits persist forever. Praise to the cinnamon fingered, the dancer of the southern trees. Nevermore will she play beneath their shade. She fell into the darkness and never to laugh again with us. From star to star she skips, following the gods into eternity. Praise to the dance ended and begun. Also, Song of the Voice of the Grasslands, the Sun Roar, the Wind Caller. Never again will he race through the reeds of the lakes, stirring up the swans or hunt the horses of the wild. He now prowls the dark between dream and wake, sing of his voice unforgotten till the stars fade into morning light. What if my lantern? No. Uh, okay. Uh... Um, yeah, nothing really around here. I guess I can go like this way. That looks like something over there. There's a, okay, there's a glowing thingy over there. Let's go to the glow thingy. Eventually. Anything over here? Wind Song Falls. Oh, this is the thing the dude was talking about, I think. Wish there was like a log or something. Conversations. There's there's no water here though. Um. Oh, okay. Let's take over there. Maybe that's Wind Song Falls over there. Mr. Fox! Can I do anything? Can I... Well, that's depressing. Where am I on the map? Alright. Alright, there's glowing stuff over there. Oops. I way overshot. Okay. So that's like sun and moon. And then there's drawings of three or something. Um. Yeah, I guess this is the Windsong Falls they were talking about. Uh... 
they have here? Just more birds. Not a huge fan of how this thing controls and just like how fast you get. Um, it's like a log. I'm also not terribly fond how, as of right now at least, like there's a lot of. a lot of stuff. Like a lot of islands just don't seem to be anything that just they just exist for like the sake of existing which like I say like not everything needs to be something but and there have been like some more dumb islands and stuff which is nice I wonder if I just have to go like all the way up to the top here which I missed <laughs> better pace now. Uh, there's a thing. Alright. I am Rhea, Yohal's daughter. I sought out his words to make sense of what happened to him during his journeys. My father's burden lay heavy on his shoulders. Even though we found a new home, he was never the same again. There is hope and more children have been born this spring than the last. We will recover, but I think he worried about things yet to come. I think the sickness of black rocks my father found scar him more than anything else. It's only been seen once or twice again, however. These islands we now wonder are safe. Kara is soon having a child of her own, and laughter has returned to our hearts. Am I Kara's child? Ooh, steps. Seems good. Okay. Thought we were about to be able to go somewhere. You would be wrong, my friend. Um, let's see what's over here, I guess. Yeah, I... God, you go so fast. Like, I have to actually just dive bomb to stop. And then there's, like... Nothing here. Okay, so that... Alright, so that place is glowing. Alright, no detours. We are going to go to where that thing is glowing. I see one over there too. But we're gonna go here first. Okay. Okay, finally something tangible. Oh, okay, there we go. Oh, uh, okay, so this is the sun thing. Alright, so the sun symbol is now up. That's, uh, that's whatever that is. Then I'm guessing that island over there is where I go to get the other thing, eh? The moon. Alright, yep. So. Whoop. Lantern. Use. Ooh, there's a dead person. Moon. Hey, we opened the thing. We can now go inside. What do you have to say? Nothing? You're just. You're just praising the moon? Okay. Alright. Alright. Uh, 
All right. We are entering our first dungeon temple thing. Took us 42 minutes. Yeah, I... I think I would like exploring more if there was actually more to uncover. Like, not this game needed to be Breath of the Wild. But in Breath of the Wild, I really appreciate that even though there was a lot of emptiness, it always felt like there was something to find. Whether it's a Korok seed, a shrine, a chest, a bombable wall, enemies, a town, something. This it's not as much, although I did just apparently discover the vault. Of which there is no map. Okay. Um, interesting. Um, okay. Hey. How could we... How did we were you not able to just use those holes? Um, Alright, well... Let's see. Do you want my lantern? Power up! Oh, okay. So this is... Something. So we have to get the... Symbols, I guess, correct. Um... So, let's see. Is that it? No. Alright, well, let's see. What else do we have? This is the sun symbol. And this is the moon symbol. And I guess that's it. Okay. Purple flames. Neat. Yep. Yeah, that makes sense. Alright. Uh, take key. Give me the key. Somehow. Sure. Okay. So now do I go to that ice place? Is that what I need to do? Anything over here? No. Now we'll see, that was something about The Last Campfire, another little indie game. Um, that, now part of that was because the world was also, hey buddy, can I help you? Hello, little wanderer. You took your time. Thanks, Ravioli. Were you perhaps led astray or just followed by the slow one? I think his name is Medvin. Same as... Slow as few shifters I have met, but sharp, intelligent. Do you know what it is you found? You hold both light and key to lead you into twilight. Both dusk and dawn, I believe. Are we going to the twilight? Southwest of here, there is a temple. The silhouette of the setting sun. You will find more answers there. Go now. Bird faster than Medvin. Secrets await you in the deep. Seek counsel from the ones who slumber. Is this like an eldritch horror game in disguise? I would lose my mind if this is an eldritch horror game in disguise. Um, so what I was saying about the last campfire is because the world was much more tight and constrained and less open, the, the lore dumps that you could find came about uh, much faster. Um, it, just, it just felt tighter. Um, so there's not much in this world as of right now, and it's very spread out. 
and that's not super great. But the the story seems at least interesting enough at the moment to to make me want to keep playing. So he said go southwest. So let's go southwest to this area over here, I guess. Just somewhere around here there will be a temple. Right? Twilight Lake. Uh, is it over here? Yeah, it looks like. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh. That's a camp. Yeah, we'll go, we'll go to the lake in a second. This is a camp. Uh, I am Yoho of the Southern Isles. This is my third and final record of my travels in the land of gods. I happened upon the fox just as I was about to leave for home. I don't think we ever found his first one. Oh well. He sat in the middle of the road and seemed to laugh silently as if just some hidden joke. I spoke an anchor. My people are dying. Why is this happening? His smile seemed sad. The darkness within called the darkness without. Heal your people to be healed. This is not your path, Yoho. I did not know what to say and stared after him as he left. Later, I realized he was right. It was not my path, but one for my whole people. As I passed the Twilight Lake, I met with Kara for the first time. She showed me the Eventide Sanctuary and asked me to gather everyone I knew. This is the refuge we had hoped for. I will journey home again and I will guide my people here. I will see my only child, Rhea, again, and I will bring her hope. This looks bad. Looks not super great, my dudes. Alright. Hmm, a lot of dead people around there. Get the lantern out. You can like see their skeletons. Oh, that's weird. And there's crystals and there's that's something no don't go maybe there this is actually a bad place is this is this the bad place um, all right open temple I could probably just jump down, but I'm not going to. This felt like a weird place for a loading screen. Oh, well. Oh, as well as that ends wells. Well, at least the stream overall has been going a lot better than my one earlier today. So that's nice. All right, so we just went in, came down the rest of the steps. Ooh, we made it. Look, we made it, everyone. Oh, my back. We will be safe here. Something tells me that's not super true. Okay, so the gods said, come on my triangle world okay um all right um this is 
you climb up it to, to go forward. And you help him up here while you break the geometry. Hey, there's birds. Hey, birds. Go to, go to the bird sanctuary, birds. Alright, so you climbed up there. And I guess jump. Um, oh, text. See, why can I read this? This looks like the same tablet as in the other place. Anyway. Twilight Guardian opened her eyes to the light of sun and moon shining together. She sat down and calmly took both in her sky hands, bringing balance to light and shadow. With her right hand, she releases the sun to let people back from the dream. With her left, she flings the moon into the night sky so that people may dream it all. She is the heartbeat of the seasons at the center of the world, the breath of life and order. Okay, it's some really weird Midna fan fiction. Anything over here? No. So there's like no collectibles in this game, I'm guessing. Alright. Well. All right, this is something. Um, okay. Yep, not gonna lie, sounds a little foreboding. Because we're getting a little farther in here. the tent. A couple tents. What? Yeah, that's that person must be asking, what are you doing? That was weird. Um... Hey, come over here. Oh, it's a dance. It's a dance party. Man has paws that cannot run, but chases longingly the sun. Man has wings that cannot fly, but he will always seek the sky. Man has eyes that cannot see, but watch eternity. Man is lost unknowingly in danger, to his own mind always a stranger. Okay. Um... I think that's progression, so we'll go this way. Let's see what's uh, over here. What's up? Look at this mushroom. What do you think of it? Is this a puzzle? Is this a puzzle? Uh, I mean, it's not really a puzzle. It just is. Alright. Uh, that looks like something. Oh, these are doors. I don't know whether which one is progression or not. What is this? Use. Oh, did I just unlock a shortcut? For, for nothing. Like, oh, wait, is there something up here? What's up here? I genuinely don't know which way is progress anymore. Um, oh, I wonder if down there is... Oh, wait. Okay. I don't know. Yeah, 
this was destroyed. So that's... You know... Not great. Those are hands of a statue. Alright. Uh, is this progress? This feels like progress. Wait, so what was... What was the other way? Uh, I don't like when it's not clear. Alright. So... I can't transform, so that stinks. Alright, let's just go see what's over there, I guess. Yeah, this was the dance party. And then, like, what's over here? Is this the, is this the entrance way I open? Or is this something else? This is something else. I, I don't know. This is... So is that progress? I guess... I... I am... So confused right now. Um, this looks bad. I am Kara of the Thunder Isles. I had a strange dream that I will record here so that others may perhaps understand its meaning as I did. I had come to study the holy carvings in the lighthouse in the land of gods, trying to understand our heritage. As I reached out to touch some of the runes, it suddenly felt as if a warm hand passed over my eyes, and I fell asleep on the sacred stone. In my dream, it seemed to me that the stone beneath me glowed from within, forming a staircase up into the starry sky. For far away on these steps, a golden light grew and drew close. Stars flew from the sky and became someone who had the shape of music and was gentle and sad. Okay. The god spoke to me not in words, but in memories and feelings. He warned me of a terrible greed from beyond, a void in the hearts of men. As he showed it to me, I felt it stir and come between us, Darkening the golden steps like a storm cloud, cold as eternity. Terrified, I cried out at the pull of this dark void, and I woke. I could not speak for three days, but I set out to the ancient temples immediately. If what I have seen is true, the gods are alive, and they need our help as we need theirs. Okay, okay. Um. Yeah, I'm not getting over there, so... Um... Yeah, alright, so this is kind of a dead end. Is this Kara? Alright. Well, alright, I guess let's explore this a little bit more. No, cause, oh my god, I don't... And there's no math. Alright, I guess let's do this. I don't... I don't know. This is a very weird game. Alright. So it's number three. And then number four is right over there. Oh, no, there's five, I guess. Um. 
Oh. So is that the thing we have to figure out? Since the ladder broke, how to get over there? Is that is that the puzzle? Maybe we can just do this. Yep, a puzzle. Alright. Alright, that's number four. And then over there is... Number five! I guess let's open this and figure out if this is progress or not. Yeah, that, that feels like progress. Alright, we're going back the other way. We'll come back here later. We're going to go check out that other thing now. Which is like all the way down here, right? But we have a shortcut now. So there's that. Alright. So I... I don't know. I, I am assuming the other way is progress now. Because that door looked really ominous to what it led to. So, we're just going to go this way. Because it feels weird that there would be like two critical paths. So, this, this must be side content. And we do love our side content here. All right. So this is just a thing. These are people just chilling out, doing yoga, looking at the runes. Oh, when the world was still new and the creator had drawn the lands, the spirit animals gathered to talk. A fox said, there are new animals around. They walk on two feet. A crane said, a new bird? The fox shook its head and said, they have no wings. A monkey said, I have seen them too. They are without fur and they cannot climb well. An owl said, they fear the night and drive it away with fire. An otter said, they build nests on the land, but they are not one with it. A deer said, they are loud and do not know how to walk the woods. A bear said, <laughs> They are like cubs who do not know the way home. The fox cocked its head and said, yes, that is why we have to help them. Help them, the other animals looked stunned. Yes, the fox said. Their minds see eternity and they are lost and afraid. They need something to hold on to or they will harm themselves, the lands and us, the fox said. What do you propose, asked a hare. I propose a pact, said the fox. If one of them can talk to us, we offer him the bond with the land. The fox continued. If he accepts, he can take the shape of one of us, the one he made the pact with. And he will be one with the land and still, still see beyond the veil. And he can guide and guard his people, and so we all will be at peace, said the fox. The other animals saw the wisdom in this and agreed to it. And so some humans can become one with the world, and the chosen were called whisperers. So am I a whisperer? Do I do the whispering? There's more stuff. What? Okay, so this this is something I can't do right now. 
Maybe I had to go through the other door first or something. I don't, I don't know. It's, it's very unclear. Um, this is nothing. This is... More nothing. Well, okay, there's something up here. All right. So this is, this is that wall. Power up. Oh. Weird. Okay. So it can only be one or the other. Um. So do I have to figure out like how, oh, okay, wait. So that's like a quarter turn or an eighth turn. This is a half turn. This is an eighth turn. And this is like not as much. Yeah, okay. So what we need to do is we need to get it just like, all right. So now, all right. So now, if we go to the other side and do a quarter turn, no. Okay. All right. Let's put it there. Now let's try either one of these. do the half one. Nailed it. First try. So now that, those half power. So now we can go back this way. Go up here. Yeah, okay. So now we have the laser. The laser powers this stuff. Which now can do what? It needs to be, I guess, a certain thingy. Again, no idea if this is what I'm supposed to be doing right now. Not a gosh darn clue. Probably just wanted to match the, uh... Yeah, okay. Alright. 
Alright, so now we can do this. And go... But there's dead people over there. And there's... I don't know, something over there. Alright, so what is this? Is that like a door? It's not. Alright, we go. Alright. Giant shrooms. Go in this hole. Follow the waterway. That way. We and now we can come here. Okay. First, dead people. It seems as if the store has been stuck for a very long time. Wonder if there is even anything on the other side. Oh. It's also a very technologically advanced thing. Is that a door? Uh, Alright, what's over here? There was a door there. It's gone now. Is this... Do we get a shortcut or something from this? Use. Yay. We did it. Oh, so I guess that's going to be the extra thing. And then when both things are down, we'll have done it. We'll have beaten the game. Alright. Let's go here. Can't go there. Bollocks. That's it. Alright. Um, yeah, I think whenever we get to like the end of this temple, I think it's going to be when I call the stream. Which may be another three hours, apparently. Alright. go up here. So they were both progress city. Yeah. Any dead people? No? Alright. We can put this down though. Now both sides have unlocked so that we can now go there. Um, hello? Is this a boss fight? Come here, little bird. For a long time ago, your people addressed me as the Twilight Guardian. Sitting at the border of dusk and dawn, ensuring safe travel on the paths to the land of dreams and back again. Even after the Great Divide, I was there, watching as your priestess Kara led her people to safe, safe shores here in my temple. A long time have I waited for this moment to come. I have grown weak, but for the power I was lent, tethering me to your world. Listen carefully, little bird. Once again, the void has awakened, 
with great hunger. It's time to devour all that is left of our world. But there's still a chance to stop him. The Priestess Kara hit three fragments of great power, one in each temple. You have to make the three fragments once again. I will give you the part I was given for safekeeping. Without it, I will fade into oblivion. It has been my link to this world since the time the gods were lost to the minds of men. But we cannot wait. Please accept my fragment and finish what was started so long ago. Thank you, Luralin the Watcher. Monomon the Teacher. The other one. <laughs> Okay. We got a piece of the Mirror of Twilight. Hooray! Oh, we're back in Scary World with low frame rate. It's the Void. It's the Void. Ugh. Is this my warp back to the surface? All right, well, this is a video game. I will give it that. This is definitely a video game. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna call it here. Assuming it saves after this, which I would hope it would. Um, interesting game. It's very big, very spacious. Um, so that's okay. Um, can't all be Hyrule Warriors or Astral Chain or Super Mario Galaxy. All right, we're back on Twilight Lake. Yeah, so they went on. So I guess they all just like died. All right, and it's saved. Wait, is... Wait, what? Well, there's no going back there, I guess. Oh, is this the Black Rock? Is that what this is? Um, okay. Alright. Uh... Oh, cool, we can save anytime. Uh, exit to main menu. So, I have a feeling we're going to have to die at the end. But that's okay. <laughs> we're Final Fantasy X, except we don't rebel against our fate. And we have a sick boss fight at the end with random rock music. <laughs> Sounds like Metallica. <laughs> oh, man. Well, um, yeah, this was a bit different. I know. But, um, I definitely want to finish this game. I, I didn't think it was that long, so we'll, uh, we'll, we'll keep going with this. Uh, I don't know if I'll do it on the next stream I do, but we'll, we'll definitely finish this one up on stream. Um, but anyway, thank you for coming out to here on, on another edition of Hybrid Let's Play. Second one on this Monday. Um, glad everything went a lot better on this stream than it did on the one earlier today. Um, but as always, I am hybrid. Um, I hope you all out there stay safe. Uh, wash your hands, wear your masks, take care of each other. Um, and yeah, let's keep making this year better. It's starting off really good for some people, not so good for others. So, um, you know, keep the, keep those hugs from a distance, um, coming, I guess. Just hug. Yeah. So, uh, again, I don't know exactly when I'll be streaming next this week. Uh, could be tomorrow, could be Thursday, um, but if not, definitely Friday night. Uh, we will definitely be doing a stream Friday night. So, anyway, once again, I am Hybrid. Thank you so much for coming out to today's stream. I hope to see you in the next one. Um, take care. <laughs>